welcome to Spacey Tracy Nails. If you would like to see how I did these nails, keep watching and I'll show you. So I have Criticula is what's on my nails. And I have the first one on my uh, middle finger and it is the uh, dash landing. And then the uh, pink one that I have right here is the true love's kiss. And uh, that's what is my base colors that I'm showing. Then I'm using the Mara plate and it's plate 23 vanity. Um, we are going to be using this one up in the corner and I am going to put it on all my nails I think except for one. Kind of like a, not a French manicure but in that type of way is kind of where I was going from. Plus I also have the She Modern uh, Stamper and it's the resistant one. It is a monocle one and uh, clear, which is very important for me. I'll be using a lint roller and a just a generic um, scraper. I always put my LA mat um, underneath when I'm doing. And the stamping polish that I'm going to be using is... I'm also using Gloom. It's B404. It's from Maniology and it's kind of a purplish color. I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. So once I put it on the plate, the, the stamping polish, I scrape it once and then I roll really lightly. I'm still having a little bit of problems trying to get my stamping uh, to look really clear, crystal clear. Um, but I'm going to keep practicing and I'll get it eventually. <laughs> okay, there it is. I think it turned out pretty good. Love that purple on that pink. Um, I clean off my stamper on the lint roller and then I clean my plate with 100% acetone. Okay, now to get off the excess of the stamping polish on my skin, I just use some tape and it works really, really well. I really like it. But because I saw that that made a little bit of mess, I'm going to go and put on this, um, the uh, liquid latex. So I did get this from Amazon, um, but I'm not going to have you guys just sit here and watch me do this. So I'll just put it on here just to show you a little bit and then off I'll go and come back. So here I go cleaning off the plate again and so that I get a clean pickup when I put on the stamping polish on the plate again. And I'm just going to scrape it once, twice maybe this time. <laughs> um, and then I roll again really softly. So as you can see, I'm putting it on the middle finger. I didn't film when I put it on my first finger, so the pointing finger there. So that's why it's not there. So I'll clean off that stamper and here we go on and I'm going to do my ring finger, but I'm going to do it with a different design. So I turn my plate and try to figure out which design I want to do. Sometimes I have a design that I want to do or how I want the manicure to look like, but then I decide to change my mind. And that happens a lot, pretty much. So it's okay. I'm, I'm allowed to do that, right? <laughs> what do you guys, do you do that? Do you decide to do the mani one way but then it turns out a different way okay so right now i'm just kind of pushing them down putting them on my nails uh and as you can see i kind of like make sure that it's lightly pushing but i hold it a little bit longer um only because i've had some issues where it comes off like it or it doesn't go on my nail i've had that happen quite a bit um, especially lately I just need to practice more because um, I'm definitely have not got my skill up there especially for what all the ones that you guys do it's just amazing what you guys can do that's why I figured since I'm just going ahead and I'm trying to teach myself and learning and um, this would be a great thing for maybe some other people that maybe feel that it's a little too hard that they might give them some inspiration to do it as well uh, that's one of the reasons that I just decided to do my channel. Plus, this channel is something that's very dear and, and to me, and I like doing it. Um, but it, it's definitely a lot of work, but hey, it's okay. I can do it. Now what I'm doing is I am going to clean off everything. The back of the plate, the front of the plate, my alley mat, um, everything. I make sure everything is nice and clean before I put it away. 
Okay, now I'm going to take some acetone and clean around my nails after I went and took all that latex off. Um, there's just a few little spots that needed to kind of be um, cleaned up, especially around um, my cuticle and everything. Uh, this is my Uber Chic uh, cleanup brush and I got it from a D-Stash and I really, really like it. Um, I don't know if they still have it, but if they do, I will try to put the link down below on that as well. But I, I, I'm not for sure if it's, if they do, they might have a different one, but I really, cause this one, the name is actually barely can see it. So I, uh, I really like this thing. Okay. Before I put on my final top coat, I'm going to put on smudge free, um, from Maniology top coat. Uh, that's so that my design doesn't get um, smudged. That's the one thing that I would really hate when I worked all this time to get these designs on my nails and for it to get smudged. Um, and then I'm going to put Etsy Speed Setter on is my final top coat. Okay, so this is how it turned out. I thought it turned out really well. I really liked the purple onto the pink, even with that blue and the purple. It just turned out really good. So, all right, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching. Hopefully, you guys will hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know how you do your stamping. Do you have problems? I'm definitely learning. So, um, and uh, this is Spacey Tracy Nails signing off.